Well, three days up a television tower as a mark of protest, trouble was no one knew he was there. John Stevenson, out on parole, climbed the tower on Friday afternoon. Convicted of armed robbery, he claims his trial was rigged and wanted the world to know about it. But the weekend came and went and nobody noticed John Stevenson was there. Finally, at 9am today, he was spotted. He told police he'd had enough supplies to live up the tower for a week, a bag of oats, water and chewing gum. It took a few hours negotiation to convince Stevenson his case would be re-looked at and he came back down to earth. A tense waiting game for police today as an armed robber staged a lofty protest on top of Channel 9's transmission tower here on Mount Kutha. The man claims he served nearly nine years in jail for a crime he didn't commit. John Stevenson scaled the tower on Friday night, but perched more than 100 metres up wasn't noticed until early today. Convicted in 1982 of a Mackay payroll robbery, Stevenson spent most of the next nine years behind bars before his parole in 1991. Police say today's protest was Stevenson's latest attempt to focus attention on his claims of innocence. I've already done so many years in jail for something I didn't commit, for something yeah. I didn't do. Right. Now the point is, I, you can look at it this way, I've really got nothing to lose. Speaking from a communications phone on the tower, Stevenson told me he had four litres of water, 200 grams of oats and some chewing gum. Enough food, he claimed, to sustain him for at least a week. He used Channel 9's Skycam to display documents he claimed would clear his name. Briefed on his background, police studied the videotapes before deciding not to risk a confrontation. 103 metres up, it would be rather dangerous to attempt to remove him at this stage. After six hours of negotiation, a breakthrough. The Attorney General's department agreed to review the case. If you start coming down at quarter past two, I'll be here to meet you, John. Sunburned and weak, Stevenson descended safely, still hopeful of his future. If they follow the guidelines, if they follow the transcript, well then I've got nothing to worry about at all. Police say Stevenson will be summonsed and probably fined over today's protest, but hasn't breached his parole conditions. Dean Felton, National 9 News.